Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Amplified Server. I hope you guys are having a terrific day. I've actually just had a really, really long day, real life wise. Like I went and helped uh, my son buy a car and uh, that was an ordeal in itself, but we'll get into more of that later. Let us see if, uh, oh, it's not roped off anymore. Evidence secured, we'll contact you soon. Hermit Hills Sheriff Department. Very cool. So I can access my storage room again. I wonder if I actually got my wool back. My red carpeting that they used for it. Yes, they sure did. I got 58 red carpet. Cool. I did a little bit of farming a little earlier from uh, before I left for XBs with some wool at Slip Sheep Farm. And uh, I've been getting a little bit in preparation for a library project that I'd really like to start. Now, I've got a ton of leather available for books and naturally pages. And um, I also punched some holes in the side for some much needed light. And these are also going to mark our entrances and our exit to the library. So one thing a library really needs is bookshelves. Wouldn't you agree? Well, it also needs an enchanting area. And currently, I have an enchanting area that's up here. Now... A couple of videos back, you guys suggested that I should use, do like a little water feature for here. And I think that's going to be a cool deal, but I do have to work with the design a little bit. I have some ideas for the actual library design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to craft a bunch of books, like a bunch of books. So to do this, I'm going to need a ton of paper, which I already kind of have. I have, let's see, this will be enough for one stack of books two stacks of books, three stacks of books, right? And then this will be enough for one stack of books, two stacks of books, three stacks of books. And I'll also need a ton of, uh, let's see, actually we have enough for four stacks of books. So we should, we should do that actually. Um, so we'll have almost four and a half stacks. The only thing else I'll need is wood which we need some room for actually i got a bunch of junk in my pouch uh let's see we'll throw away the wool and we should be good with that okay fair enough let's get some wood and let's start making the bookshelves so yeah the car dealing experience was it i mean it was it's it was much less painful than i remember because i did it with a friend of mine and it actually wasn't my vehicle um but we did get a really really good deal or what i actually thought was a good deal and um it's good but i was recently contacted and they let me know that there was some things that weren't foreseen before the vehicle was checked out because it's a used car so there's a couple things that are that are broken that it it might cost us in the long run to fix but all in all it was still an impeccable deal uh, so i do think it's best if we if we stick with that plan of action but time will tell so let's see here now that i got i need how many Man, this is going to take a lot of wood. I didn't even realize. Like, a lot. Okay, this should be the last bit that I do. And the reason I'm not shift-clicking is because I don't have space in my inventory. Okay. So, let's see. This, this. Actually, what do I need to do first? I really need to make the books first. And that'll actually eliminate my need for some of this space. <laughs> um, let's see. Books. Bam. Uh, it would have probably been easier just to do this, huh? Yep, it sure would have. Okay, <laughs> I'll get my crafting down sooner or later, you guys. Like I said, long day. Still not thinking quite clearly enough yet. Okay, books, bam. And we'll do one more stack of books. And we might not use all of this for bookcases because leather actually goes... Leather is actually good for a bunch of different things. So this will be... One, two, three. This will be one stack of bookcases, actually. Which is, good lord, that is a lot of resources for a stack of blocks. That was like some terra firma craft type stuff. <laughs> like, really, man. Um, so I do have enough to make another stack. Let me just keep that leather for now. And we'll see what we need based on that. Okay, so if we go down here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tear down... This stuff while I have it too. This is my silk touch. Cool. I could pretty much tear down all of this stuff. An axe would be a lot faster, but 
You absolutely need Silk Touch to do these because it breaks them up into pieces. And I think I don't think it's lossless. Like you will lose a little bit of resources breaking these down. But um, so yeah, guys, the core deal was was pretty good outside of the last minute information that we just got. But uh, it felt pretty good to do that. Like I haven't I haven't bought a vehicle in a long time. You know, my car is like an 07, and it's pretty darn long. Like since I've even had to mess with um, with car sales or anything like that. Um, but this was, it was relatively painless. I drank much too much coffee, which you may or may not be able to tell. <laughs> and, uh, other than that, we rode around with a golf cart, kind of run around and looked for the vehicles and found one that we liked and test drove a few of them. And it was a pretty cool experience. So I was happy about it. All right. So this would probably be best if it was done. Let's see. I should get some torches right quick as well because it's completely obnoxious of me to build in the dark for you guys just to struggle to see the whole time let's see i really need a couple of pieces of coal so we'll do that and we have enough wood on us that's for sure and let's see i should have a fortune pick in here fortune two fortune three there we go All right, now I can put that up. <laughs> I'll only use that one when I need it. All right, there we go. Now let's get a little bit of, well, we might as well not break up that. We'll need 11, we can do 12. Cool, sticks, coal, torches, perfect, 44. Let's go back down. So the idea for this library is pretty simple. I really wanna do a lot of tables in the middle which will be pretty cool because we're on the half slab. It'll allow us to do some pretty cool stuff. And we can do the enchanting area in the back. So let's just put a couple torches right here so that you guys can see what we're working with. And I think that's probably enough light for you guys to be able to judge. Let me just put one up here right now. Okay, so center of the room is actually this block right here. So let's go ahead and we'll place, I think what we'll do is we'll come up a couple of blocks and we'll probably come up with dark oak to tell you the truth. But right now, let's just put some regular oak wood planks down since we already have that. Uh, we'll stay we'll stay three away from the, the exit right there and we'll put, let's see. I'm thinking we can just put the enchantment table on top of this for now. And that'll allow us to pretty much get a pedestal going with um, with some cool stuff for the actual enchant. Uh oh, hello. Oh, you broke some holes in the floor. Well, <laughs> I guess he came from outside. Which is it still dark out there? No. Hmm. I know he couldn't have spawned in here because it's all half slab. I don't know. No telling. So now we probably need to get some dark wood and build a little pedestal. And uh, that'll be our little enchanting area, and I think that's going to be a pretty cool deal. Let me go get the needed materials, you guys. Fix this little pothole, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys. So this is the platform that I want to work off of with the enchanting area. I want this to be the centerpiece of the room. Now, just to let you know, I can't go back here because there is the pillar that goes out to... I don't know if you guys can actually even see it. That's the pillar that goes behind the... Um, Oh, well, up there is the stairway uh, from the, the other floor that kind of comes down there. And that's the pillar that supports it. So I can't really go in that section. So that's the furthest back I can go. Maybe one more as an inset design if I had some diorite behind it to show that there was like some shelving. So I might do something like that. But right now, I just need to establish what the actual platform is going to be like if I can put the right bars in my inventory. There we go. Okay, so... We'll need a spot for books, and we're going to need to place books. Let's see. If I start with, let's see. I'll start with a bookshelf right there. There we go. And from there, I need to come out. Let's see. It's a five space. So that'll be five. Cool. And then we can come out like this and like this. And then on top of that, we're going to need a few as well. So we're going to need one on top of there. I think altogether the magic number is 15. So that's 10. Let's see. 
we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I think we need one more to make it complete. Um, which is kind of funny. Let me do it like this. Alright. So we should be able to enchant up to level 30 with that setup right there. Now, we need to make this... <laughs> naturally, it needs to be a lot prettier than this. So let's go ahead and extend the platform out just so it encompasses the actual bookshelves that we already have. And we should be able to come out at a more interesting pattern after we do that. Okay. So now we have the entire bookshelf on that. Now, simply we could just do a stair pedestal if we wanted, just like this, to kind of widen it up. So let me get into my handy dandy um, crafting bench right here. And let's extend this out. So we can extend that out just like so. Actually, these are going to need to be... It's going to be interesting to work with this on the <laughs> the bottom when whenever we decide to do whatever we're going to do. Because I might have to cover it like this. I'm still debating on whether I'm going to cover it or not. Or whether I'm just going to make some um, some really neat designs with the existing lights. Or stagger them with some hanging fixtures. I'm not sure yet. But uh, all in all, this should take care of the platform. And we'll always work from there after that. Hello. We really were not open for business yet. Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's put a couple more there. All right, now we have a little pedestal. It looks good. Now, if we were to come around this and sort of make a curvature, like, um, let's say a semicircle that would start somewhere in this neighborhood and end up right there, and it would be just like a crescent shape right here, I think that would look really, really good. Then we could surround these exits with bookshelves and do some probably some some cool bookshelves in these corners as well um but there could be like some freestanding things maybe some rows on this side some linear rows would be um a nice effect and then for this center area we might be able to put some tables like something that you can pass through so we'll see we'll see how that goes so let's try to let me get a few more of these dark oak um, put together and we'll do a little bit of shaping. And I think I'll be happy with what, whatever result we get from this. So let's see. If we're starting from a 4, let's see. I'm actually going to have to draw this out, I think. <laughs> because it's not going to come out unless I do so. So let's see. If this is a 4, the next, the next shape would be... I think it would be a three in this exact line so and this is four wide so let's do three long and three wide just like this and we'll do that on this side as well so three three and three okay so now if we were to make a circle from this portion this would need to come out by one right just like this and then the next over would be something like two so we can do just like this and let's cut this off just for the sake of measuring it out two okay and then typically circles either go if we win another two, it might go a little bit wide before it arcs, but I'm going to try it anyway. So let's do another two on this side. And like I said, for symmetry's sake, so I don't get mixed up, we're going to do the same thing on either side as we go. That way, I don't get confused, you know? Okay, two, two, so it's, technically it's five, and then three, and then two, and then two. So if I did one and one and then I can start going towards the other curvature I think or maybe I'll tell you what looking back at it I think we should go four then three then two and I think that would give us a little bit of extra playroom let me try that you guys so I know it's a little dark, but that's the shape that I came up with, guys. And the reason that you're seeing it right there is due to the fact that uh, I had to put the dark oak in the floor 
to make it look really cool. So I still haven't filled in the inside, but I'm thinking that I'm going to use the bookshelf inserts with the dark oak in all of these available spaces. So it comes out like a crescent, which I really, really like. I think I might actually call it Crescent Library. I think that would be a great name for it. I just went pick up uh, quite a few of the, the birch slabs that I actually took away in order to place these correctly. And now I need to place this in the back. But what I'm thinking too is I do have some torches. Let me put some extra ones right here because this area is, I think it's actually going to be sealed off sooner or later. Uh, let's see. I should probably put a couple right here. Okay, so let's see how this looks with books. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with the exits yet. I'm just kind of winging it. Like I said, I really don't have a specific design in mind, which that comes out. Let's see. I think I'm going to have to do this the other way because I'm using slabs on top right there. Hmm. That's going to be, actually, that, that poses a great problem. I can incorporate lighting like that. So let's go ahead and fill this area in with bookshelves. I love when design plans just come together. <laughs> uh, now that we have a bunch of sea lanterns, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Although I might end up using some glowstone. I did visit the the witch area, the witch spawning area that um, the Tango and Impulse and uh, and the guys, the other guys put together. I think it was Asuma and Mumbo that also worked on it. And um, I now have plenty, plenty, plenty of glowstone. Not plenty, but I'm, I'm at least a stack, I believe. So I should be able to get that. Yeah, I think coming across with the light and maybe staggering some red wool. Here and there might look really good let me try some things with lighting you guys and i'll be right back all right you guys so i added a bunch of the glowstone lamps and i put them in this configuration with the red wool that way there would be a gap that would be showing the light on one side and the red wool on the other everywhere that the bookcases were placed and look at spumwag joining the game hey spum but yeah, it's crazy how awesome it looks from the outside. I also added a little bit of, well, <laughs> the one uh, crafting bench to the mix so that it was actually a little bit more practical. And I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. There we go. <laughs> so on top is still not finished yet. But as far as the crescent is concerned, I think it's looking really, really, really good. Like... The angle that all of the bookcases are faced, I'm still not too sure about the ends. They kind of differ because of the end that I put on it right here and the way I did that design. I think they differ a little bit too much than everything else, which only has like one side boxed in instead of both. So I may change that to two of the bookcases right here on either side. Another thing I was thinking of as as the back wall, I'm going to do some some like some dark oak wood uh I guess frames with bookcases inside and I think I'm also going to add some sections with uh, a bunch of different books in item frames whether they be uh, the enchanted books or actually books in quills or you know things like that or labeled books there'll be a few things so I think it'll be nice and random I don't want to put too many item frames even though I think it would look pretty cool I don't want to put too many item frames because it does lag um, the game you know it'll lag my, my base up and I really don't want that to happen but I think all in all this is coming out pretty great so what I'm gonna do is continue to use this floor here and uh, you see how they have the red carpets right here what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to adjoin every joint like this with the red carpet where the lamps are not there but so where every lamp is I'm actually gonna put a uh, carpet on the back side that way it makes like one continuous seam and I'm gonna do that on both sides although I don't think I have enough uh, actual red wool. I do have some white wool though, so I can always use some red dye on that and I should be able to get it done. Yeah, I'll just need a couple more, but that's pretty much it. Other than that, guys, I'm going to come across with uh, a bunch more of this dark oak and finish slabbing it in. And I'm just using the, the slabs to save on resources. Actually, it could come up by one half um, right here just to save for lighting but i think it'll be fine with the uh the the lamps the way they're placed and i'm actually going to do some some strategic torch torch placement kind of like i do with the uh, the sconces with the netherrack 
or I should say nether brick fences and the, the little stairs. But yeah, that's going to be the design. And I think we're going to call this cre Crescent Library. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's going to have to wait till next episode. I still have to worry. I still have to change a few design concepts up. Uh, like I'm going to I'm gonna play around with some designs on the ends like that as well. I'm also going to figure out what kind of tables and size I need to do for this. Because this is really all I had planned for today. And we're, uh, we're, we're pretty much at the episode mark. A few more minutes maybe. But I'm not going to stretch it on just to, um, just to try to plan on camera for you guys. I'd rather just get an episode out for you. I have packs coming up this weekend by the way. If you guys are going to PAX South in San Antonio, Texas. Let me know. I'd love to see you and meet you there and um, other than that guys there'll be a couple more videos out over the next day so don't fret about that but thank you all so much for watching I really appreciate it if you haven't already please like the video it really helps me out and if you haven't already you can also subscribe so thanks so much for watching you guys as always this is Zuljin signing off and we'll see you next time bye